Hello fly babies, hello patrons, hello my lions, it's me your fly lady cat and today we're talking about the after dinner routine. Again this is part of our February gift to you from Nikki and myself and it is um, the wisdom of finally loving yourself and Nikki's doing finally loving yourself with grace and they are paired together so at the end of watching this video make sure you click the, the link and go watch Nikki actually implementing it in video form. All right, so after dinner routine is this. Everyone who eats dinner and is big enough to carry their plate and walk is big enough to clear, their self, to clear the table after themselves, to take their spoon, their fork, their plate, their cup to the dishwasher and put it in. Um, or if they need to be scraped or you require that they be white, washed off a little bit first, if they're big enough to reach the sink, they're big enough to do it. And so everyone who's big enough is going to, is going to help. So if you have four children, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a baby, then the four-year-old and the six-year-old are gonna be able to help. Now the four-year-old, not as much as the six-year-old, and the six-year-old, not as much as your husband, but somebody's gonna be able to help. And it'll make you feel better, and it'll make them feel good. So the number one thing you wanna start with, though, is a, a little bit of soapy water in your sink so that as you're cooking, you're not making a gigantic mess. If you're using a knife and it needs to be washed really quickly, you can wash it and use it again instead of pulling out another knife, for example. So that's the start of before dinner. And then after dinner, everyone puts their things in the dishwasher. Someone is responsible to make sure that they're all put in the dishwasher afterwards. So there may be extra pots and pans, extra serving platters, whatever, that need to go in the dishwasher as well. Um, someone is going to be responsible for spritzing the counters and giving them a little wipe down. This is not a deep clean unless there's chicken juice and then that's your job to clean it up. But a little spritz, a little wipe makes a big difference. Somebody's going to do the same thing to the table. Someone's going to do something to the stovetop if they're old enough to deal with a stovetop to clean the stovetop. Um, and we're not talking about clean, we're just talking about a little wipe down. You wipe up as you go so you don't make a big mess for somebody to clean. And then maybe there's a little spill on the floor that needs to be attended to. That doesn't mean you have to sweep the whole kitchen. Just get a little dustpan and sweep that up or a wet paper towel does miracles on a little bit of flour on the floor. Just get it up before Fido does. Okay, so now let's do it. Let's eat dinner. After dinner, everybody, take your plates to the dishwasher. Show them how and then congratulate them. Give them confirmation that it's a good job. Give them affirmation that they're worthwhile and that they're really a part of the family. Stand in that kitchen. Don't you leave and make those kids do that by themselves. Stand in the kitchen and coordinate and do something while they're doing something so they don't feel like they are put upon. Nobody wants to feel that way. You stay in the kitchen with them until it's all done. Don't expect perfection. Just expect it to be done. Okay? That's the after dinner routine. Then when you leave the kitchen, it looks nice. And the only other time you have to visit the kitchen is your before bed routine. So now we're going to make sure that everyone is participating. So if it's just you and your husband, there's nothing wrong with saying, honey, can you wipe the table for me real quick while I get this mess off the floor? And then after that say, ooh, can you get the counters? Here's a rag for the counters. Can you just spray it while I wipe the stove off? I so appreciate it. You're cutting your work in half. None of this work is hard for anyone. But it's the idea that you're sharing that makes it so much better. And it teaches your children how to be independent. And it encourages your husband to feel good about helping you around the house. Believe it or not, some husbands feel intimidated by helping you because they don't know how you want it. Maybe you've been a little perfectionistic with them. So no perfectionism here. We're just getting a little blessing of our kitchen so that it looks nice. And then you're going to visit it one more time when you hit your before bed routine. That's it. Now, I want you to go over and watch this video unfold in videography form through Inspired by Nikki. Their link is here. So go look and tell her that Kat sent you. And if you're coming over from Nikki's uh, channel, welcome. And we're so happy to have you here. I encourage you to subscribe and share and be part of our community. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day. And always remember that you are beautiful.